guys today i'm going to show y'all how i installed this lovely wig from virgo hair company i ordered this off of aliexpress this is the box that it came in it had a wig cap in it and the wig of course this wig is a peruvian curly wig it's a 13 by 4 uh, frontal and it's in the inch 22 and this is the lovely curl pattern as you can see so right now I'm just going in and I'm going to bleach the knots because the knots did not come bleached that's the consistency that you want because you do not want it to be all leaky and running through um, this wig is pre-plugged so you don't have to go in and plug the wig I mean you could just you know don't overdo it Alright, so right here I'm just showing you I got the ball cap under my wig because this is going to be a glue install. And yeah, I like to use the ball cap method when I glue it down and I just put some concealer on the wig cap itself and the ball cap. And then I use the 91% alcohol to clean your skin. Clean your skin and make sure you clean it because the adhesive will not stick. That is key to making sure that it sticks. Clean your skin. I say about like maybe four times, maybe four to five times, just to make sure it's really clean, you know? So then um, I did go in and cut the ear tabs off, off camera. I cut those off and I'm just sizing it up to make sure that the wig, I mean the frontal, you know, fits my head accordingly. And I'm just about to pin my hair back so that way I can um, cut the lace into sections. I feel like sections is more easier for me to do, you know, it's your preference. So after I do that, I'm got to go in with the Fold Hold Active, which is the one in the pink bottle. Um, I like both of them, the Extreme Cream or the Active. I prefer the Extreme Cream more, but both of them are pretty good and they dry quickly as well. And then you see me as well put up a popsicle stick because that is what I use to apply the glue on. You don't have to use a popsicle stick, you can use anything that's like flat enough so that way you can get like an easy nice thin layer of glue on there so whatever helps and i was looking at the mirror next to me so that's why my face isn't really in the frame of the camera so you can't really see but basically what i'm doing to the other side that you can't see i'm just using the popsicle stick to lay down that glue as thin as i can get it um i use about like three to four layers you know but just make sure they're nice and thin and make sure that each of them are dry like before you add another layer on make sure it's like clear and dry Right now I would probably use like a blow dryer but like I said before the extreme cream and the active of the bolt hole dries really quickly so you don't really like have to. But yeah now I'm just getting a close up of how I lay the wig so when I bring the lace down on top of the glue, I know you can't see it but you're going to be able to see in a minute. I just, instead of using my fingers I just use like my comb and I just like brush through it. So you just want to put that lace right on top of the glue. But like don't use your fingers use the comb or whatever you can get because the oils in your fingers will cause the lace to like lift up so that's exactly what i do now at this point i would just get my blow dryer and have it on like a warm setting and use my comb to just brush through the hair but i didn't have my blow dryer when i was recording this so i just tied it down for about 30 minutes to an hour with the lace still on i didn't cut the lace yet
So now it's been about an hour and I'm taking off the scarf, just checking to see if everything is still good and intact, which it is. I'm just giving you a preview. So now I'm about to cut the lace. So now, when I said that I cut the lace in the sections, this is why I do it because I use an eyebrow razor to cut the lace off once it's like all melted and good because it gives me that zigzag effect without me having to like, you know, do it with the scissors. You can do it with the scissors, it's really your preference, but it's more easier for me to just use the eyebrow razor and you just want to get as close as you can, but you know, don't cut yourself or anybody else that you doing a wig on. And you see, look at that, that zigzag effect without you even having to put too much work in like you would if you used a scissor. Alright, so at this point I had messed up because the lace did, that part of the lace didn't like get to the glue, which is cool, it's perfectly fine, people make mistakes, but it's just an easy way to fix that. You're going to take a rat tooth comb or whatever is pointy and just put some of any type of adhesive you used on there. I put the glue on there about like three times because that's as many layers as I put around my whole perimeter of my head. So I did that. While I'm letting the last layer uh, air dry, I just grab some of the 91% alcohol and clean the perimeter of my forehead just to get any leftover glue because if you let that sit, it tends to get really sticky and it turns black and you know, that's not cute. So now I'm just gonna finish cutting off the rest of the lace like I was doing before. And again, at this point, I probably would have just used my blow dryer on a warm setting, but I didn't have it, so I just tied it back down for another 30 minutes or so. So... I didn't style it or at this point I'm not like you know this isn't like my finished look but I am just using some styling foam and water just to tame the hair like because you see it's all puffy and big so I just like use that stuff just to tame it not like for the finished look so it's gonna look a little puffy but yeah. Alright, so I'm getting ready to do the baby hairs. Um, I was struggling. Like, for some reason this week, I was struggling to do the baby hairs. But that's what I'm doing right now. So now I get that tresemme mousse. I think it's like the the type of hold is like four. I have everything linked in the bio below. 
but yeah i use different products now because it's been like a week or maybe two weeks since i filmed this video so i do use different products for this wig i think i might do like a review on this hair and like an updated version on how i style the hair because like it's cute like you see towards the end like it's cute but like i do use different things rather than that mousse because that mousse makes um stuff crunchy and i don't like the crunchy look So then um, I'm about to wet the hair and go in again with the styling foam. More of it this time because I am styling it. I think I was getting ready to leave. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So like I've said before, my products have changed. Um, instead of using that Tresemme mousse or the Cream of Nature styling foam, I would have just used a lot of body. It's like a blue liquid, it has a white top. That is the best styling foam for curly or wavy hair. So I'm just going in with my concealer and my angle brush to define my part a little more. See how it was looking like just to fix it up. Um, you could pluck it, but I wouldn't suggest doing that just because if you pluck too much off, you're going to give yourself a bald spot and you will be stuck with having to wear that wig in the middle part. Like, I've tried to do that before with a wig that I did part and I tried to do like a little side part and it just looked weird because it was like a bald spot for me plucking the part so much. So then lastly, I just go on my hot comb just to flatten everything out and this is the finished look. I'm just giving you like a little view from the back to see how it looks and it hangs. This wig is 22 inches, mentioned that before, but I forgot to mention that it is 130% density. And this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll be back with another one. Bye!